Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to talk about a pretty good deal on a spa I just found. Um, I hadn't seen many reviews on it or anything like that too, so I thought I'd kind of give my two cents uh, based on my experience. It's a home and garden spas, six person, 32 jet spa. Uh, I should mention too that I found a pretty good deal and I'll throw a link in the description below so you guys can check that out. So I was looking for a spa for my backyard and went to a lot of different spa companies locally. Uh, I went to a few spa shows and I found that they're, they're pretty expensive. Um, you know, eight to $10,000 for a decent sized spa. And then I kind of ran across this one, uh, did quite a bit of research as far as I'd seen ones at Home Depot and Costco and things like that. And uh, you could find these spas fairly cheap. And I kind of thought, well, they're probably not going to be the same quality that these eight to ten thousand dollar spas are. Why would they be a third of the price and be just as good? Well, for the life of me, I really can't figure out because this spa is equal, if not better, quality than the eight to ten thousand dollar spas that I found. The Home and Garden Spa is six person. Um, what's really nice about it too is it also has a lounger with arms on it. Um, a lot, it was a feature I didn't really find on a, a lot of uh, the other ones. Um, odds are, if you're just a couple or, you know, I, I found that usually it's just one to two people maximum in the spa anyway. So to get a spa that has, you know, that will, will seat six people without having a lounger, because I do use the lounger a lot, is kind of pointless. Uh, this is a 220 volt spa, so it's just as powerful as all the other spas that I tested out. Very, very powerful motor in it. Really comfortable jets, very nice massaging action. And it looks nice too. Uh, it's worth mentioning that it's uh, it's got nice kind of fake wood around the outside, which is good anyway, because it's a, the real wood spas, number one, cost a lot, and they wear out and they sun fade. This is made of a plastic, uh, kind of like a, like a, like a deck material plastic but it's not supposed to fade at all in the sun or anything like that and I haven't noticed that at all either. I like the nice white shell on it um, with the LED light inside which will like turn to like 12 or so different colors. Um, it just has a nice very clean inviting look to it. I was a little worried early on that I wouldn't like a white spa but actually I really really like it. Um, I don't think I'd, I'd go with another color. I really prefer the white now. Comes with a built-in ozonator. Um, comes with a nice cover as well. It feels very ergonomic and it feels like it's very well built. The nice thing about this one too is you can move it with about four guys. It's pretty heavy, um, but four guys could move it. Um, and yeah, I really like it. It's fully spray foam insulated as well too. I keep this at 104, 24 seven. Uh, all day, all year, and it gets pretty cold here in the winter too. And even in the winter, my electric bill maybe has went up maybe twenty to thirty dollars a month tops, and that's having this thing at full heat uh, all the time. So it's very, very efficient, which is nice because I've had spas in the past that were so expensive to heat that you just never use them. But this one is great because you're going to use it all the time, uh, and it's always hot and ready to go which makes really all the difference in the world. Anyway, if you have any more questions about it, just leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.